and the story of the moment, the Aam Aadmi Party now possibly headed for a two-way split. Tomorrow, the party's National Executive Council will meet to decide the future of founder members Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav, but not before they took on the Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind K. Jriwal head-on in a press conference that lasted over an hour and a half. The duo claim that they are being forced out of the party since they have been demanding more transparency and internal democracy. Interestingly, both camps are using the media to counter charges, the latest being a press conference that was held by Yadav and Bhushan moments ago, where Prashant Bhushan even went on to call the Delhi chief minister dictatorial and those surrounding him nothing but a pack of liars. और बार बार यही बोला गया कि आप लोग इस्तीफा दे दीजिए बाकी चीजें हम लोग देख लें अब ये हम लोगों को इस्तीफा दिलवाने की पेशकश बार बार इतनी जोर से क्यों करी जा रही थी किसके कहने पर करी जा रही थी ये बात देखिए बिल्कुल साफ हो चुकी है कि क्योंकि इन लोगों ने भी ये बोला कि भाई हम तो नहीं चाहते लेकिन अरविंद चाहते हैं कि वो आप लोग इस्तीफा दे दें क्योंकि वो ये कह रहे हैं कि वो आपके संग काम अब नहीं कर सकते मैं आप सबको कहूंगा पत्रकारों को ग्राहकों की सावधान रहिएगा आगे से कभी आपने कोई चिट्ठी लिख दी जिसमें शब्द रेजिग्नेशन हुआ तो उसको त्याग पत्र की तरह दे कबूल कर लिया जाएगा शायद हमारे साथी समझते नहीं है एक कंडीशनल ऑफर टू रिजाइन यदि ये ये हो जाएगा तो मैं त्याग पत्र दे दूंगा और ये कहना कि ये मेरा त्याग पत्र लीजिए इसे स्वीकार कीजिए इन दो में बहुत अंतर होता है आप सब जानते हैं तो आखिर में यही बात समझ में आई और जो बात अरविंद ये बार बार कहते भी हैं और मैं उनसे बार बार ये बात कह भी चुका हूं कि भाई अरविंद तुम में बहुत सारी खूबियां हैं लेकिन दो तुम्हारे में फेटल कमियां हैं जो कि हमारी पार्टी को बिल्कुल नष्ट कर सकती हैं और बहुत खराब परिणाम उसके हो सकते हैं पहला तो ये कि तुम ये चाहते हो कि जो तुम चाहो वही फैसला लिया जाए और इसलिए तुम ये नहीं चाहते कि ऐसे लोग पार्टी के डिसीजन मेकिंग में हो जो कि स्वतंत्र राय रखते हो और जो तुम्हारे सामने खड़े होकर कह सकते हो कि जो तुम कर रहे हो या जो तुम करना चाहते हो ये सही नहीं है ये जनहित में नहीं है दूसरी प्रॉब्लम जो मैंने उनको बताई कि भाई अरविंद तुम ये सोचते हो कि मेरी नियत साफ है और इसलिए जो मैं कर रहा हूं वो सही है Well, one more thing both of them reiterated is that they've tried very hard to meet Arvind Kejriwal and the fact that in all of this he is still silent. Meanwhile, the Delhi Chief Minister has refused to speak on the issue once again of the infighting within the party. Sir, All right, I want to cut across immediately to the press club where I'm joined by my colleague Ankit Tyagi who was at that press conference which lasted over an hour and a half. Ankit, it's quite clear now that both Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav know that they're on their way out and now it's street fighting, the kind of proof that they're putting out there, getting people to come out and talk against Arvind Kejriwal and the functioning of the Aam Aadmi Party. Well, absolutely, Preeti. In fact, uh, the cloak of courtesy is now absolutely gone. Uh, all these leaders making allegations against each other. Prashant Bhushan mincing no words, saying that uh, the people around Arvind Kejriwal are liars. They have been propagating lies and they have been coming out with false allegations as far as Prashant Bhushan and Jogin Riyadav is concerned. Prashant Bhushan also directly attacked Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, he said that uh, Arvind Kejriwal, it's on his behest that uh, uh, the other leaders were asking for the resignation of Prashant Bhushan and Jogin Riyadav. Now it's absolutely, uh, you know, uh, it, it's, it's no price for guessing. The party is, of course, divided and uh, as of now what we are seeing is that there are two camps uh, that have emerged. Uh, you saw some other people also standing with Prashant Bhushan and Jogendra Yadav. It now seems that it won't be as easy as probably the Kejriwal camp was thinking.
thinking that uh, it will only be these two people right. that they have to deal with. It now seems a larger group is against uh, Arvind Kejriwal. And very uh, quickly, if I may tell you, Preeti, this is uh, the email that uh, uh, Prashant Bhushan has in fact written to Pankaj uh, Gupta. He is the secretary of the Ahmadmi Party. And in this, they, the, the, according to this email, they completely want to change the rules of the game as far as the National Council is concerned uh, for tomorrow. Uh, in this, they are saying that uh, there are MLAs of the Ahmad Aadmi Party that have been invited for the National Council tomorrow. That is absolutely illogical and irregular. Apart from that, they also said that uh, there have been uh, uh, SMS and email invites that have been sent from the Kejriwal camp, whereas they are th these few of these members have not been given any such invitation. They also said that uh, this is the this is how low the confidence in the party and within the members is running. Right. They said that the, uh, the, in the entire proceeding should be webcast, it should be video recorded and also requested Admiral Ramdas help in ensuring that smooth functioning takes place as far as the National Council is concerned. You know, uh, so it seems that both the camps are now yes. prepared for an ugly battle, ugly spat uh, in the National Council and the ground is being prepared for that. All right, the ground being prepared for that. Ankit, very quickly, you know, when uh, Prashant Bhushan was asked about both of them being removed uh, from the party, thrown out of the party, and he said very clearly that uh, what can be done is to eliminate them from the national executive. That's what the national council can done. They cannot be eliminated from the party. Well, exactly. That's what uh, Prashant Bhushan said. He said, according to the constitution, the national council can only decide to recall the members from the national executive. They do not have the power to send people out of the party. That can only be done after certain uh, allegations are made. If the if members are found to be, uh, you know, indulging in anti-party activity, and that too has to be investigated either by the Lokpal or okay. the disciplinary committee of the party. So Prashant Bhushan and Jogendra Yadav preparing their ground, saying that if the party tomorrow brings brings a resolution for their mm -hmm. ouster from Aam Aadmi Party itself that will not be legal, that will not be logical. And that is what's going to happen, Ankit, isn't it? Because there were two resolutions that were to be moved tomorrow. Resolution one, that they would be removed from the national executive and number two, that they be thrown out of the party. Now that in contention right now. So a very smart play by the duo. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, as I said, preparing the ground for tomorrow and, uh, and uh, uh, I won't be surprised if after the meeting, expect fireworks in the meeting, after the meeting, you also see this being dragged down to the court. As okay. of now, Prashant Bhushan denied it, but uh, uh, the ground have been prepared. They are saying that certain demands should be met as far as the conduct of this meeting is concerned. Most likely, many of them will not be accepted as far as the National Council right. meeting is concerned. And then that will be another point you of You know, one final question, Ankit, with both of them, if you looked at it... Uh, Yogendra Yadav was still a little muted, but uh, Prashant Bhushan taking on Arvind Kejriwal. The entire press conference, as it ended, a one and a half hour press conference, it did seem ultimately it looked like it was the autocrat Arvind Kejriwal against the both of them. Well, that was uh, the picture that, of course, uh, Rogin Jadam and Prashant Bhushan tried to frame. Prashant Bhushan particularly came out and said that Arvind Kejriwal had told him that he has not worked in an organization where his writ doesn't reign supreme. So that is very clear mention that it was Arvind Kejriwal's dictatorial attitude that has led the party to the uh, place where they are as of now. And very interestingly, Preeti, Prashant Bhushan also said that uh, they have a sting operation, but he does not want to breach the confidence of the person those who has given it to him and that is why they are not presenting it. So it's mudslinging all together right. now and allegations and counter allegations. Ahmadni party is doing a press conference at 4, at four o'clock yes. to counter these allegations by Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav. Well, very interesting. Uh, their uh, Ahmadni party now will be presenting their version at 4 p.m. We'll cut back to Ankit Yagi then. But now it is street fight between the two camps uh, of the Aam Aadmi Party. Trust headlines today to keep you one up on all developments. Now, you know, let's just give our viewers perspective on what the charges that these two camps are trading. Well, the big question is, who out of the two is actually telling the truth? This is what the two sides are claiming. Kejriwal camp says that all five conditions set by Bhushan and Yadav have been met, which the duo deny. They also claim that the duo had resigned, but Bhushan and Yadav are demanding to see that resignation and uh, are claiming that they never asked for Kejriwal's ouster as the national convener of the party.